Hello and welcome to the channel everybody, I'm Jason Storm and in this video I'm unboxing the Oculus Quest 2 Elite Strap, putting it on and doing a little bit of a review. Now as some of my regular audience will know, I ordered the Quest 2 before it came out, I pre-ordered it. Uh, I did order this at the same time, uh, but for some reason it was a bit delayed in Australia. And then with all these baking, they delayed it again, and so I never got mine until now. Oculus are obviously confident that this isn't going to bake. Well, let's test it out, I guess. You may notice this is a bit of a different setting. I'm currently redoing the other space and complicated. I'm not going to get into it in this video. Uh, I'll do another video on that. But anyway, what's in the box? So I haven't done my review of this yet. Uh, that's because I haven't gotten this. Um, I really wanted to have this before I did my review. Because many people are saying this is practically mandatory, and if it's mandatory, then, well, we we need to review it. Uh, we've got this here. So to take the old strap off, we'll undo that. Uh, I believe we will also pull this off. Come on, out of there, pop, poppity pop, and pop, pop, sick. I'd keep this if you're planning on making this portable and having a carry case for this. Uh, this will fit in a case better than that will. Now we just click it back on, should be very simple, very easy. There you are. No sweat. <laughs> I say that. Touch it. Get in there. Get in there. There we are. No sweat. No sweat whatsoever through there. Just leave it there for now. I'll tighten that up later. And we'll whack this back on very easily. Uh-oh, my light. Right, so new battery in the light. Oculus Quest 2 is all back together. And uh, I guess we loosen this a bit because we don't want to bake it. Oh, this is too tight. Now I think this is too loose. Pulled my hair as well. There is about where it's at. Wait, one more thing. Let, let's take this off without undoing it. Does it bake? Does it bake? No, it didn't. I've spent a little bit of time with the Elite head strap as you can see uh, not broken yet uh, will it break I don't know I honestly think that it was probably a certain batch where maybe the manufacturer used a different type of plastic on a certain batch maybe they were running out of stock of so they got it from another supplier I don't know there, I think there's enough tests out there on YouTube right now really stress testing these straps and they're not baking and some of them have been put under some serious load which I think really points to probably a bad batch I don't want to stress test this one I don't feel there's a need uh, other YouTubers have done that so I'm gonna come straight off the bat and say I, I think the quality of these might actually be okay could this one be from a bad batch? Maybe. I don't think so. 
Uh, this one was sent out to me after they started reshipping them again after that kind of drama. So I think I might be okay with this one. You know, wiggle it around, can hold it by the strap. I have purposely not been taking this off by undoing the headband. I've just been literally whacking it straight, straight on and off without even adjusting the strap just as a bit of a test to see if it will bake or not um, and it hasn't so i'm not going to try be too careful with it i'm just going to use it as normal see if it breaks if they do break i do believe oculus will replace them anyway obviously you don't want to go through that but uh, i'm pretty confident in this so i'm just going to continue with this elite strap and now we've got a bit of the elephant in the room away. Let's talk about the comfort that the Elite strap provides over the standard elastic strap. Now the Elite strap does feel a lot more comfortable on my head. And I can wear it for longer periods of time. The standard strap, I, I was having issues wearing it longer than an hour. This one, uh, I was even just watching some shows and all that and I, I took it off without any form of fatigue or anything uh, my head wasn't sore my eyes weren't sore so I do think that the elite strap is a definite improvement another benefit to this elite strap because it kind of cups your head a bit more there's less chance of the headset just slowly sinking on you and the problem is when the headset sinks on you, you can get out of the sweet spot of the lenses and then everything can start to become a bit fuzzy in the headset and you have to readjust, get back in that sweet spot because the elastic is obviously quite soft. It does move a little bit and because it doesn't cup you as much, it, it can just slide up. Now you can obviously tighten that headband, but then when it gets really tight, then it starts to hurt you even more. Uh, so the Elite is definitely much better. Uh, I don't even have to have this very tight uh, and it seems to stay on my head just fine. Uh, I think this is all about getting this strap right so that it sits nice and evenly on your head. When I first put it on, just get this just right, just sitting on cupping my head and pull this up and just pull it in and out until you're, you're pretty much hitting the sweet spot in the lens and you're good to go. The Elite strap is still, despite uh, maybe some of the failures, is probably one of the best things you can get for your Oculus Quest 2 other than maybe the Oculus Link cable to play PC VR games if you have PC capable of VR. The Elite strap does tend to stay pretty much where it's put. Um, I can put this on, get it sitting right, and then uh, shake my head all about. And uh, yeah, it, it's still where it was before. So uh, that's a good thing, not moving around. So yeah, uh, my review of this is uh, pretty good. Uh, I like it. And I don't regret buying it right now. So yes, if you're looking for an Oculus Quest 2, uh, about to buy an Oculus Quest 2, highly recommend getting the Elite Strap as well. So thanks for watching this video, everybody. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in the next video.